Previously, we discussed our top 5 retro soundtrack which covered games before 1995. Video games and music go hand in hand, so of course, we're back for another retro top 5 video game soundtracks. This time we're going to cover a period of 1995 to 2000. From the classic 8-bit music to the stirring cinematic scores, we have a pretty grand list to look over. It was a tough task to pick and choose several years worth of some pretty awesome soundtracks into a small top 5 list. In fact, without ruining the surprise, we have 5 games we're looking at with one runner-up that we just couldn't leave off. To offer fairness, we have avoided any direct sequels to some games, though there are some specific games in particular series we've covered before. This list is sure to provide that nostalgic feeling for you and leave you wanting to play these games once again. Without further ado, let's dive into our Gamers Among Us next top 5 list as I'm excited to share our picks with you. first pick is a game that has a beautiful blend of shooting and role-playing elements that makes this game a game way ahead of its time. System Shock 2 was released on PC in 1999, designed by Kevin Levine. We could go on and on about the groundbreaking ideas this game came up with, which led to some pretty awesome games like Bioshock, but we're here for the music of this game. This game's music was composed by Eric Borsius. What helps with the atmosphere of this game is the creepy music leading you to believe that there are horrors lurking around every corner. Now the whole time, you're not left with a foreboding. In a different approach, you have some upbeat music that gets the blood pumping like a quake match or a modern doom would pull off, as you can see here. This game is filled with the crazy enemies that cause you to be on the edge of your seat. Without divulging too much into the story, there's tons of twists and turns that reveal some pretty awesome innovative ideas. Eric provides us with a foreboding digital audio medium with some of the best cyberpunk score that is sure to entrance you with this game. Moving out of the dark, foreboding, and desolate, we see The Curse of Monkey Island, which was made by LucasArts and released in 1997 for Windows and Mac systems. Michael Land was the composer for this iconic series. This game is a point-and-click adventure game that is actually the third in the Monkey Island series. While searching for clues and interacting with a slew of interesting characters, all while being serenaded by Michael Land's score, which needed to project that humor. Included with much of the music is atmospheric sounds to further integrate you in this game. All of this allowed for further expansion into the series and brought forth more laughs with this unique music as the backdrop.
of course. No list can be complete without one of the most iconic of musical soundtracks, Final Fantasy VII. Made in 1997 with composer Nobuo Umatsu on board for this unconventional game. When most consider the biggest role-playing game in history had to have a soundtrack to match it. In this case, the soundtrack lived up to that towering goal. Allowing for this great music, you get encouragement when winning against enemies with a memorable victory theme. You think that after several hours, just in Midgar, you have reached the end of the game. Nope. Pull out one of those mini discs and get ready for the next area. Honestly, we could go on and on with all the different types of soundtracks to this epic game, like the lasting one that has been in almost all of the Final Fantasy games. Personally, I can't wait to see the music remastered with a future remaster that will be coming out very soon. <coughs> March 3rd, 2020. Well, that's if they don't push it back once again. When thinking of espionage, or secrecy, the most common game that comes to mind is Metal Gear Solid. This game came out in 1998, made by Konami and multiple composers like Kazuku Murako and Hiroyuko Togo. This game is a classic in the franchise, what started a game series that has games still coming out as we all grow with these iconic characters. This game was made great with its over-the-top characters, twisted storylines, and plots that would make shows like 24 hell in comparison. What helps to round out this game is the music that gets you into this game, like this clip here. does for me is make me feel like I'm in one of those classic action movies during this time, with the fast-paced action music and infectious melodies driving me further to my goals. Still, there's some music that may instill creepy vibes like the Mantis Hymn. chills as you listen to the best is yet to come knowing this game is up for a lifelong fulfilling series. This soundtrack has a special feel about it, with a ton of replay value. Whether you feel the nostalgia by reminiscing about your adventures, or new to the series, you'll be drawn in by this music. Another iconic game from this period, as there's so many, is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Came out in 1998 for the N64. 
or otherwise known as a Nintendo 64. In order to lessen the amount of titles for one specific device, we chose to do this game over games like Super Mario 64 and the plethora of amazing 64 games out during this time. That being said, this game is a masterpiece of sound, as not only does it have amazing music like The Temple of Time, or just the town itself. But there's music incorporated with your ocarina as you play to transport yourself to locations or bring in storms with the Songs of Storms. This incorporation makes the story meld with the music, making it stand out that much more, making classics stand out as you play. The N64 is an old gaming system, but this game along with many others we didn't add makes it stand out as a great system to game on just for the music alone. The lively music in this game helps to contrast the sometimes dark themes you encounter as you, Link, struggle to survive and save Zelda from Ganon's grips. list we haven't had a horror game in this series. Yes, we've had creepy tones and some would argue that System Shock could edge on that horror line. None so like our runner-up, Silent Hill. Made in 1999, we have composer Akira Yamoka instilling these creepy sounds into our ears as we try to survive in this desolate town. Horror has already been done well by other games like Resident Evil or the Clock Tower series. What these other games help to provide is a good sense of dread. What makes this game great is the terrifyingly slow pace of gameplay and of course, the eerie music. This game featured electronic industrial music which was loved by the composer. What this did was define this game's genre. Along with a creepy story, as you search an abandoned town, there are deformed nurses and other creepy enemies to just jump out at you. Listen to this fear-inducing music that only brings you further into this game. Combine this together with the static of white noise, the synth sounds, and the end result is a feeling of doom for the player. this day still haunts many of those who played. This changed a lot of how people perceived horror games, and we can all thank composer Akira Yamoka for that lovely gift. <laughs> Whew. 
Man, that last one was creepy. They did a good job of making you feel the terror in that game. I hope you enjoyed all these games as we took that auditory trip through the 1995 to 2000 era. There were so many games we wanted to add. Sadly, the list is only the top five with a runner-up. Make sure to give the video a like if you feel we missed your favorite game from the 1995 to 2000 period. Please let us know in the comments below if you're enjoying the series or any of our other game series. Please do us the honor of clicking subscribe. If you'd like to contact us outside of YouTube, make sure to reach us at GamersAmongUs.com. If you can't make it to that link, our Twitch, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook groups are all listed below in the info section. This is The Still Grizzly with Gamers Among Us. I do wish you luck with all your future games. <laughs>